Uh, Mr. Martin Pebu, good morning to you. Yes, morning. Y yesterday, though, there was quite uh, an interesting highlight from a news conference that was convened by the family of the missing Takrady girls. Now, um, the thrust of that press conference was the fact that they thought, uh, due to all that has transpired, they don't need to cooperate with the police in relation to trying to give their samples for other forms of DNA or forensic testing. What do you make of it? Uh, are they within their rights? Yes, largely they are. You see, under our law, what uh, does the evidence have and give them right? What it is is that it's when you have an accused person before a court, it's the one that the court usually has power and that they present to make an order for uh, what it needs to be taken for analysis. That will include DNA sample. You see? So that is specifically when the person is in charge, when it's an accused person. So you see that the medal of the Jafuha uh, uh, officer in general. That the court needed an order for CAA uh, samples to be taken, right? Yeah, there are other examples. But when it comes to the family now, they are witnesses, so to speak. They are going to the uh, court. But in that respect, there is no such compulsion that if they are refusing to cooperate, the court makes an order that. So practically, the best thing is that usually the uh, prosecution will seek to engage them. You see, the comments they are making that they will not complete and all this are born out of um, they, they are grieving, you see, they are grieving, frustrated and all that. So these are matters that the uh, state will do well to talk to them behind the scenes. That's how this thing is done. And I just I ask me, wondering why maybe we will not have our big government officials visit them. You see, when you visit them, then you help to, uh, what you call it, even right now we are hoping that they are alive, so you help to keep hope alive. It makes them uh, help us with their pain. Okay? Yes, so that's the best way that. It's all about engagement, engagement, engagement. Mm. But there's something curiously um, that somebody told me yesterday, that whether the families also had it within their eyes. So let's say sue the government or the police service for misleading them all this while. Oh, as for suing, you can always sue, but see, yes, you want to say that uh, they were uh, deliberately misleading the police and all that, yes. But Roland, as you are aware, that by itself doesn't bring back the uh, jail. So that I say, so if you look at it, ultimately, what we are all looking for is the return of the jail. So the energy to be better channeled right now for corporate than beginning to do government. And in any respect, yes, so if you get for the treatment that we are misled, yes, that one is just the cause of action. But as I said, to what end? It doesn't directly help to bring about anything directly. It doesn't uh, uh, help to bring uh, to return the girls. So looking at it, as I said, I think so far, uh, what I do is how we are engaging them. And Roland, most especially, I think that the state should provide uh, counseling services. Counseling services to help them because all those treatments they are missing, as I said, in terms of frustration, in terms of the pain, they are grieving. You see, even though, uh, in a way, we know that uh, they, 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 there's no certain statement that the girls are dead, but they are in pain. So maybe this reason is not the right thing. They are in pain. You see, they are frustrated. And so, some psychological counseling will do. You see, so that's very, very, very.
need a clinical psychologist to talk to them. And also, in matters like this, maybe you know times are hard. I, I had, uh, what do you call it, one of the girls' father yesterday. Mm. I understand at the beginning the uh, suspect, the who uh, don't talk, he had asked for 5,000. And then they paid it to pay and pieces and all that. And eventually got to 4 5. Roland, my sense of this is that. They may not that be uh, they may not be that materially well off. So maybe if it's safe to push in them a bit, you know, mm -hmm. all this too. That, that mm. would help. You see. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, thank you for giving us this word and this sort of education. Uh, Martin Pebo is a legal practitioner. 